What's going on everybody, this is TGA. So we um, down to the Cultural Way Bridge today for Operation Utah again. Came down here before, a couple of years back to cover Operation Utah. Got traffic whales here today as well. Lots of police about. Pretty sure this is Operation Utah as well. What's going over there? TVSA guy. Yeah, right. How you doing? Yeah, fine, thanks. Just got to stand out the way because I don't want any vehicles coming in. And then, uh, see we've got police tape up down there as well. Got the white caps for traffic. She just said police on her, uh, usually it's Headley police. I don't know whether this is just Gwent police here. Yeah, they're not RPSO. They're not RPSO, some of these. I have a picture without me in it, mate. <laughs> oh, West Midlands police? Yes. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Just visiting. Lost. <laughs> just visiting. We're doing oh, a bit of the heavy goods vehicles and stuff with I, local lads. I, yeah, I am, yeah. I've been to your base, actually, Sergeant. Oh, have you? Yeah, Perry, the, Bar. Um, Perry Bar, yeah. Oh, OK. Uh, I, that was a sergeant there. He, he was trying to block my shot because I was taking a picture of some of the marked vehicles oh. in there. I just wanted to get in it, actually. <laughs> I think she's pretty, isn't yeah. But he was trying to say it's a, it's a security risk to be taking pictures of marked vehicles in there because he said he didn't know what I was taking security pictures of. Security risk, what, from what you can see on the road and the public highway? Exactly. Marked vehicles, marked vehicles, innit? See, Shane, you weren't there at the, on the days before, but... Yeah. But no, it's, we're just doing a bit of a check site, abnormal loads, heavy goods stuff, hmm. things with trailers, anything just to get it in. So we come and share our knowledge, the little bit that we've got with the local guys and they show it with us. Usually it's, it's just Gwen Police down here that I've yeah, seen before. Yeah, so you've got West so. Mercia are down here, Gloucestershire are down here. Yeah, I thought I'd seen West yeah. Mercia. Yeah. So yeah. Some of the cars are parked up over there, the marked cars. Ah, I've seen that. Have a look. <laughs> West Mercia are in? I don't, I don't know. No, it's just weird to see you in my neck of the woods, really. So. <laughs> We've been down here a few times, in fairness. It's a decent site. Is this, it's not Operation Utah, is it, as well? Or? Ooh, that's what it was last time. That's what? Operation Utah. Utah. That's, what, that's what they, they had, had before. Utah so. Utah is, but we have operation names are given out locally, so hmm. our operation names, like Blue Ray and things, wouldn't matter down here. Right. Own I didn't know. I thought I thought they only did Operation Utah, don't you? I've no, I haven't really seen any what's other. That? What's Operation Utah? Uh, it's traffic operation it, mainly it for checking like, like illegal yeah. tints yeah. and Is that things what on there. Social media. Oh, it's no, it's not to do with tints. And... It's no. like when it's there's more when the any. Stuff. Usually, I thought it was when there was illegal anything illegal on the vehicle, where it's, it's, it's not, they don't deem it to be safe to be on the road. Oh, okay. Oh, so right, they'll okay. Uh, oh, they'll be. pull it in if there's they'll pull it in if they see something that they see is unsafe on the vehicle. Oh. Just normal police, right? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess it is. Then. Yeah. <laughs> Just watch yourself, mate. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah, that's what so I, very, I keep. I keep looking. Hive is under anything coming in and out. Some big I, yeah, I, should, I got one in my I got one in my car. I should have brought it out, really. Right. But I... so if you'd have put it on, you could have took the wheel and chain around. Really. I yeah, could always could always go grab it if that's an option. Yeah, if you want it. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, yeah, I could yeah. go get it. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Just, well, I'm sat sort of there. Give us a wave. Just give us a wave. And come in and have a look. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you very much. Let's see if that's recording. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, we've got West Mercia Police, West Midlands and all in here as well today. I didn't expect them to be down 
this neck of the woods. You've got Gwent police as well, obviously. That's a, they're, they, they're typically here. You've got the um, police as well. TVSA police. So I thought when they parked that big command unit up there, I knew there was something going on. So I might go and grab my high vis because they actually said they'd give me, the West Midlands, guys from West Midlands Police actually said they'd give me a look around. I'm going to have a look at their vehicles first because apparently they're parked up over there from CMPG. So we're going to go take a look at those vehicles, then we're going to come back, going to grab my high vis and see if they can give me a quick tour around. I think, or is it South Wales? South Wales, yeah. South Wales Police. Yeah, I knew because they've normally got the... Uh, I wasn't sure whether it was Gwent or not. West Mercia's over here. I'm not sure where the West Midlands vehicle's parked. So you've got um, David Powers, is it? Is that South Wales or David Powers? Let's have a little look. David Powers Police. In Newport. Well, I never. South Wales and West Mercia Police. Well, I never. <laughs> well, I never. Firearms. West Mercia Police Firearms. In... In Newport. That is craziness, man. Ah, oh, they've got all this blacked out because obviously they've got guns in the back there. Yeah, you can see where they've got the guns, actually. There's a locked box in the back of the vehicle there. It's usually where they keep the firearms, because they've got to be, firearms have got to be locked up in any circumstance. That's West Mercia Police Vehicle there. I'm not sure where West Midlands are packed. But, crazy man. Right in this neck of the woods. Hey, bloody hell. So if they're going to give me a tour, what I'm going to do? Coach. TVSA are pulling in a coach here. See if we can see him. It's a car coming out. Got police from all over the place here. There's the TVSA down there. So on the sign, obviously heavily, it's Gwent Police is uh, Gwent Police is hosting this. There's TVSA pulling up over there now. So they're bringing them around. Well, TVSA and Gwent Police. Hosting the operation. But yeah. Having a Mackie's for the... <laughs> Traffic Wales. Police officer coming out. I'm not sure which force he's from. Constable? Yeah. Yeah, West Mercia, I think. Pretty sure it's West Mercia. Yeah, it's got West Mercia, West Midlands and Gwent. And South Wales and David Paris. So... DVS over there, I think. They pulled in a tractor. Things like that. West Midlands, look. CMPG down here. So behind the sign, yeah, I think that's probably the best place to stand because you know nothing's gonna come out and run me over from here. Heavily. So they're either South Wales, Gwent or David Paris. Yeah, they're Welsh officers, but they're it. And obviously the ones that just say police on them are obviously English. CMPG there. West Midlands. I think it's West Midlands, West Mercy, because you've got the motorway that goes up from um, Birmingham up to Wolverhampton, up towards Telford, that way.
ask going on the motor. I thought it was coming this way. So, I thought that was coming this way. That gentleman over there. They're English as well. She says police on the uniform. Ask Gwen's, I could tell by the, the font on the uniform. Ah, so I was planning on going further into Wales today, but then I've come across this. And that's English as well. So West Midlands Police are going over there. Ah, so I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a high vis. Yeah. <laughs> Just inside we've got an abnormal load coming in. If we? If you want to come stand over by us. Yeah, yeah, that'd be, that'd be fantastic. Oh, yeah. That's a Gwent vehicle there. <laughs> Recognise it. <laughs> yeah, appreciate this. Yeah, no worries. So it's all about road safety. We just want to make sure everything's safe and legal to be on the road. Um, which, in fairness, the majority of Okay. There's one or two things like that that are just needing some straps adjusting. Oh, is that what it is with the tractors? Yeah, it? yeah. Um, so we come down because we've got colleagues here that sort of are specialists in abnormal loads. So anything really big and slow and heavy on the roads we'll deal with. Um, so we just kind of share that knowledge with these guys and, and we get some learning from them as well. Um, oh, you're, you're a pretty specialised unit from CMPG though because yeah. you deal with. And like the end, main M6 with the spaghetti the junction up that's right end, yeah, so. all through Birmingham, Staffordshire, West Mids, all the way, M6, all the way, Stoke M4, that way as, yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah, we cover the lot. So, the lad there, Ben, he's just transferred over from Staffordshire into West Mids mm. to join our unit. Um, so we're a specialist team just set up looking at commercial vehicles, at normal loads. Do you work together or is it counting yeah. lines that sort of divides it or is no, it? No, no, not really. We tend to work. Oh, we'll come to because police powers are obviously England and Wales, mm. so we've got the same powers here as we've got in Birmingham, the same as we've got in Manchester, anywhere else. I thought that like tends to have to be authorised by the chief of each force, no, so doesn't it? No, no, it's just an ongoing. It's, it's basically it's, it's devolved powers. Because if you were on holiday down here, and something happened, and you had to arrest off duty, you could. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you've got those Whereas, say, if I go to Dublin on a, a stag do or something, or Scotland. Scotland Police powers don't exist Is there. Scotland sort of separate then. Yeah, right. yeah. Scotland have got their own police powers. Because I know, but when they had the coronation and everything on, they had PSNI and uh, Police Scotland then for that. That's right. So yeah. I don't know how their powers sort of. Part of the there. United Kingdom, isn't it? So whether they did something special for them or not. Because we. So Northern Ireland, the UK. Yeah, because we've sent mutual aid over to Northern Ireland. I've been to Northern Ireland. Well, PSNI got completely. Their, their legislation that allows them to. When they were yeah, tested, it's completely, it's completely yeah, different, yeah. yeah. And they've got like really strict terrorist powers as well, haven't they? Yeah, justice, justice and security. Yeah. Mate of mine goes and he films the police over there. Oh, he's, really? he's, uh, he's been arrested numerous times. Oh, right. for, he, he even said he was going to give his details under justice security. They still locked him up. Oh, right. So it's a bit it's yeah. different kettle of fish it, over it, there. It's, yeah. And they have to be. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I don't know if you've noticed that they yeah, got yeah, a camera yeah. in them, yeah. Oh, Come yeah. Look. I don't even know if it's recording, is it? Oh, it is, yeah. So is there a screen in there? No, no. All you can, all you can see is the light. That's it. They're expensive, right. are they? Uh, they didn't. They didn't cost me that much. They were about forty quid, I think. Camera, that. Mm -hmm. These ones. Yeah. <laughs> so. Just download it. Put a USB into it. Yeah, there's a little SD card in it. I mean, my mate, my mate wears them, but he just uses as, he just uses them as sunglasses. So he just he takes the, he doesn't have a card in it. So like how are <laughs> oh it's caffeine. Oh, it's um oh, yeah. it's what you call it, it's yeah, uh we'll have to come over it then. Yeah yeah, it's fine. So, so come over here. I've just never seen this kind of joint operation round here before. I know it's it's, it's normally Gwent just police. So. Yeah, so we'll, uh, first one I've been just come out this, this one's gonna come all the way around here, so. Ah right. Yeah, uh, so it's just step quite, back quite a wide load. Uh, yeah, so the, the locations will change around kind of England. Mm. We'll just come and share kind of expertise and knowledge. So you've done the same sort of thing in the Midlands then? Uh, yeah, I think these guys have, yeah. So I'm only new to the team. Mm. So I haven't been there very long. But yeah, I think they've been down here for one before and they've been up to Doxy in Staffordshire. Yeah, the, the yeah, depot up there, that's it. Yeah, yeah. So is there, there's a check site up there, a DVSA check site. Yeah, there, so we can obviously so. do a check site wherever. So mm. it hasn't got to be a designated place. Obviously, we've got 
various different agencies here, BVLA. Poster uh, and uh, yeah, Traffic Wales as well. Yeah, exactly, everybody so. here. So you just where everyone can come in, we can get one vehicle in and everyone can offer different kinds of knowledge. I'm guessing your sort of your neck of the woods, Highways England will probably be involved in that well, National Highways will yeah, sort yeah. of be involved yeah. as well. Yeah, so we obviously work closely with them, especially on the motorway. Mm. So traffic so, officers ones are the sort of like have they got the orange and yeah yeah yeah, yeah the yeah, highways agency guys that are yeah the patrol officers i've seen that they don't have any powers though do they no no but i'll tell you what though they, they really help us out because we, without them with the staffing numbers we have we wouldn't be able to hmm. to work really without them because they'll go to the uh not injury collisions on the motorway and they'll sort it whereas hmm. if we had to go to every one of them which we wouldn't be able to do it oh, so they sort of ease yeah, the workload we'll off yourself the, the ones that are recordable so police have to go and record the injuries and things like that well, normally, if there's been like a, a damaged vehicle or there's debris on the road there, yeah, they can they they'll, can, they'll, they'll close it, they'll put a block on, like, yeah. and then they'll go and clean it up and supply it. So, yeah, it helps us massively. I've How seen, long have you been doing this for then? Yeah, a few years now. I came, I came down here a couple of years ago, and it was, it was the, the only officers here were from Gwent Police. Well, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So, it's just a bit, you just fell on a good day, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I did, well, I didn't expect, I definitely, I, I was just pass, passing by and I didn't expect. You go all over, I've just had a look online, you go all over, didn't you? You've been to look yeah. at this stuff. Uh, Birmingham a few times now. Yeah, yeah. Do you just, do you go for specific events or is it kind of. No, I mean, there's certain things that I'm, I, I'm interested in. I'm, I went, to, I've been down to London and I've had, um, done the Spanish, Spanish Embassy and the German one and they actually had their own police there. I'm, I'm not, I don't think they've got any powers at all. Really? In, within the embassy? Yeah, would they have any powers within yeah, the embassy? Because that's, that's their land, isn't it? That becomes like a part of their country, doesn't it? Mm, technically, yeah. So who was the guy who was uh, Julian Assange? Yeah, that's so him. So we couldn't yeah. get him out, could we? Because he was within a different country. Yeah, yeah like, I, Ecuador, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So that, 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 that's why yeah. you'll get it. And then, so if you go down to London, but you'll see our, our armed police outside right there. Mm, there's a lot. A lot, so a lot I went down to London uh, in Feb. And they had armed police outside the Israeli embassy. Obviously, they're, 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 they're there constantly, though, I think. I think yeah, they've got a permanent yeah. presence. But obviously, I guess the, the Met Mon move them around depending on what their political climate is, I guess. Because so. sometimes it's PADP, Parliamentary Diplomatic Protection, then, but when I, when I went down there, they had to have other officers to cover from the Aviation Command. Right. So they had to get a different different department so you're to cover for. In all I, what what started you with all the auditing thing? It seems uh, to have really I, took off, didn't it? I saw I saw other people doing it, so I saw like AB, and I thought, why not? I'll, I'll give it a go myself. And now I've now I've met up with some of the biggest auditors in the country. I've done recently been out filming with DJ Audits, Marty Blackborough, and yeah. we were just talking about that DJ. Right? Is it so? Because some of them, from what I've seen on Facebook and stuff, like that will only put the negative kind of experiences on oh no this is it's definitely going up this yeah one. yeah so <laughs> and it only shows one side doesn't it mm. well obviously for us what you don't want is you don't want all the police thinking you don't want everyone thinking oh the police have started over here and you don't want the police thinking all oh, auditors are so you've got to put like a, a balanced view on it i guess mm. and even well it was one one cop who i thought was all right but then he he threatened to arrest me for public order and this this was because i <laughs> Uh, this was at a protest. Someone had sh somebody shoved an umbrella in my face. So that touches me. And I'm going to move it out of my way. And he comes and he comes over to me. He says, "Right, that's a threat. I can arrest you for public order." So it's difficult, isn't it? What, what was it? A protest? Or something? A protest, yeah. And I guess tensions are quite high. Officers yeah. are under a lot of pressure very, there. So very difficult to police because obviously at the at the start before the protest here was good. The mm. amount of work that goes into it, and you'll have your operational orders for that that day, and you'll be told what. Because he was a police liaison officer, so that's his duty to deal with deal with demonstrations, marches, protests. It's a different. I think it's a different environment. I, I can see how it would yeah, put I, officers I under. Do it, I wouldn't want to do it again. It's not to do it. Right, so you want to come over? Yeah, yeah. So, so basically, obviously, our team is dedicated. Abnormal load hmm. team. So Jim over there is one of the lot kind of national leads on it. So the other officers are basically just trying to. Yeah absorb as much information mm. and, and knowledge from Jim. So he's shown them around, look at, showing them what to look for. So when they go back to their police area, they can obviously go back with some more skills and stuff. So if you want to come around. Just... Brilliant, yeah. How are we looking?
And you got customs over there. So they customs? Checking the checking the fuel. Ah, uh, is that what it's for? Yeah, yeah. So that's what's really good that you can bring because everyone's got different powers and things like hmm. that. So and different equipment as well. We can't no, carry HMRC had any powers really. Oh well, so they're the proper ones then. That's so just a bit more robust than normal ratchet straps. Mm. Yeah, I've seen there. vehicles get pulled with them before. Yeah, that's it. You know, there's, there's been some if the hydraulics go on these, they do some serious damage. Chains will hold it. A worn out ratchet strap won't. Well you don't want you don't want something of this this size coming no, loose on the motorway especially. Not. No. But they've they've done a good job at this in fairness. You don't want any. You don't want anything. This. Any, you don't want anything coming loose on the motorway because then it's got to be. It's got to be managed. That lane has to be closed, Absolutely. and then. And it's not just something that comes off that could cause an issue. It's someone's reaction to what's coming off. Mm. So even something like something as daft as a, a little block of wood, or someone reacts to that at 70 miles an hour, that's what causes the issue. Well, I, had I had to slam. I had to slam on my brakes before. Before, isn't it? Yeah, trying to get even a bit to grab. Off. Well, there was a big log in the road, and I, I, this was on the M5. I fell on out to slam on my brakes, check check yeah. what was coming in the lane to the immediate right of me, and I had to yeah. manoeuvre out that's to. It. To avoid it. But if you hadn't have been that quick, you'd go over it. Your car's shot. Yeah, that would ruin my car, yeah. And that's what it's all about. That's why we do it. But it's it's just, it's, when you're driving, it's just quick thinking. Yeah. Everything, Everything's going on around it's, you. It's, it's 100 it's, miles an hour, isn't it? Especially, especially, on, especially on a motorway, you're going, you're going at 70 miles an hour. It's difficult, yeah. to, it's difficult to make a decision when you're, when you're going at that speed. Yeah, it really is. So will you just come here today or will you go for the kind of thing? Yeah, I was going to go somewhere else today, but I passed by and I thought, I thought I'd come down and have a look. So is it like a bit of a hobby then, or is it like a... Do you get enough kind of views that you can make a living out of it? Oh, I definitely can make yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah. enough for I that. I guess now. some people can, though. Some people can, but I'm not does one it, of those people. Does this sort of stuff go on YouTube, does it? Or yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've been quite a number of places now. I've even done... Uh, I've even been over to Ireland and had, the gu had interactions with the Guardian. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> they, they were all right for me, to be fair. So some countries you wouldn't want to go to speak to. No. Mm. Uh, I've been told to avoid Spain. Oh, right. oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't you can't do that in Spain. Yeah, just take a few extra I'm, euros if you're going over. <laughs> I know a bit of Spanish as well, but it's not it's, it's, it's not useful. What do you do for a job? Uh well I am recording at the minute, I wouldn't disclose that on uh, camera. Okay. So But yeah, I do have a job outside of doing of doing what I do, but I, I don't think I'd be able to do it otherwise. I, d I definitely don't earn enough. I've always wondered how that worked with YouTube. I guess, is it through views and advertisements? It? I guess the yeah. more people, people click on your video, the more time that advertisement is seen. Yeah. And then you get the revenue yeah. from it, don't you? I don't, even think, I don't even think I earn a grand a year on it, to be fair. Oh, so right. it's just but you do even... earn something there? Yeah, a small amount, yeah. And how does that come to you? Just those... It's so, so it's... If you're watching the ads, it's not directly through your video. Yeah, yeah. It's the advertisers will pay you to put their adverts on your video. Oh, okay. So I suppose the, the more popular your videos are, the better advertisers will mm. want to stick on your uh, Like channel. DJ Audits, he earns, he earns a massive amount of money, right. I'll, I'll be honest Is with you. Is that how you earn that? Yeah, the, the bloke with the drone. Mm. Yeah. The amount of money he earns off it, he puts the rest of us to shame, I think. Oh, right. You were saying, <laughs> it shows quite a balanced view, didn't you? Yeah. So he, he will come along and not only will he point out all the bad stuff and the, and the idiots that don't understand what they're doing, but he'll show the good things, like the good interactions as well. Yeah. So with good companies and, and places that as I, as I As I tend to do as well. Yeah. And that's how it should be. That's the fair one. I know there are some people out there that will go around deliberately trying to wind people up. Mm. Uh, and when they get a good response, they don't show it, and they'll move on to the next one and try. Because you're probably going to get more clicks from the bad one. Well, yeah, of course you. I are. don't. I don't want to be offensive to one of my mates here. I don't know if you've heard of audit in Yorkshire, but he sort of goes on to, he sort of goes on to private business here. He starts to the police station. Sticking his, he's, he's been to yeah. police stations yeah. as well. He's, he's he starts sticking his camera through yeah. the windows and things like that. Yeah. I'm like, why would you do that? Yeah. Well, that's next level stuff, isn't it? Yeah. You know. Like if it's visible from public, like if I'm walking past the window that you can well, see from a drop Try to look through the then... police station mm. through windows. Yeah. You've got to think. We're starting mm. to think other things then, aren't we? But then if but if I can see something that's it's not right. Yeah. And I'm I'm stood on a public footpath yeah, like this. That's totally different, isn't it? Say if I say if I'm walking past the police station on a public footpath and I can see like crime reports, people's people's yeah. personal details you should, you should and things like that from a public footpath that I 
I'd, I'd, I'd make the, the station aware of that. I'd be like, look, yeah. there's an issue there. Yeah. And that's Sometimes the right thing. Sometimes it needs putting out. It, it, does. Does. it needs putting out. It does. Same as if you go there and there's barriers that are up, gates that are open. It's just yeah. a security threat, isn't it? It is. Especially in the times we live in. Yeah. It, no, they haven't even got a sign to say no public access. It'll be a gate wide open. Yeah. You've got. You've you got, do well to get into our place. Yeah. <laughs> RCMPG, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the depot in uh, Perry Bar, isn't it? Yeah, that's, I can see there's all fences down the one side, and then there's the National Highway site the other side. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite nice in that regard. <laughs> well, it should be secure considering, considering of its specialist nature, really. Sharing the learning, so you've got like industry specialists, you've got people mm. data tag, so that little put that little triangle on there, data tag registered, so we'll check the data tag. Oh, when when police are specialists in the field, are they? We have, we have one or two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised, very small force, really. Yeah, I think, like the West Midlands, they have a lot of commercial stuff coming through them, mm. so you, you need to know what you're doing. Well, you're, a, you're a lot bigger force than, than Gwent, anyway. Yeah. And yeah. Gwent covers the only city it covers is Newport, and then the, and then a few of the valleys and yeah, but yeah, it's up and coming, <laughs> especially with the new headquarters in Lantana. There, is that a new build place? Is it? Yeah, so the the old HQ is being knocked down now. Oh right. I actually got offered by a superintendent for I think it's the Western uh, Western Command Unit to get a tour of. Oh right. Uh, he's got to go through. It's got to go through the media and comms yeah. team, but. He said there's certain things we we couldn't film in there, yeah, but he, yeah, he's going to yeah, try and arrange it yeah, for us. Exactly. Our, our media so. and comms people are really good. Mm. Yeah. If you ever come down to the West, West, West Mid's headquarters is quite nice to be fair. Yeah, the new one. That's, that's, that's right in this right in the centre of Birmingham. It's got to be a well. police station. It's got to be. Yeah. With the diesel. Yeah. Mm. Uh, not, yeah. Your private security weren't so uh, weren't so great there, unfortunately. But, they started telling me, telling me I can't film this, can't do that, can't be in your filming. Inside? Yeah. I know it's a public counter, so it's, it's open to the public. Well, part of it is an actual police station open to the public. Yeah. Isn't yeah. It? yeah. I'm, I'm like the front of there. The problem is they don't have the same understanding, do they? But there's a museum there, there's all artefacts, so yeah. pieces of history the for the forces. The museum well. is still Hash Lane? The old myth. I haven't been there, I didn't think it was. Yeah, there. Yeah, I, thought yeah, they, I thought that was the main one now at the yeah, headquarters. Yeah, yeah. We've obviously got uh, Lloyd House. Which is the main headquarters. Yeah, that's where, that's where I've been. Yeah, and then round the corner, Steel House Lane. It's like an old nick. Like we used to it's take the old, prisoners it's there. It's the old we? Birmingham Police Station, so, so we used to take prisoners next to the It's like an old prison. So you can, you can go, pay to go in, have a look around at the cells, and there's like a tunnel in there. Yeah, you can go to the magic tunnel that used to go from the cells to the tunnel. Yeah, it's just a more yeah. token. I might do it next time I'm in Birmingham anyway. Yeah, have a look. It's a good couple of hours in there. I'm going to take the kids there, it's going. Yeah. Sounds quite interesting, to be fair. I wouldn't mind having a look, getting some pictures. It goes back to. They even talk about the Peaky Blinders and stuff, yeah. don't they? The well, they wouldn't, they wouldn't mind someone filming going in there, would they? Yeah, they'd be thought so. You can take pictures well, and stuff. So. Drop them a message first. So no, they're mate, they're mate of mine, do you, know, um, do you know Marty Blackborough? Do you know who he is? No. No, but he, he, he did the one in Bradford, and they, they were trying to tell him uh, that there's... Because if there's information in there, you can't film anything at all in there. That's a museum. Oh, but it was open to the public. Yeah, it's open to the public. <laughs> and they were trying to tell him he can't. Because he'd already, he'd already told them, he already put, he had to fill in this form, he put in his name and everything on right. there, and he, he looked through all the terms and conditions. Nowhere in the terms and conditions did it say he can't film. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. And yet they tried telling him when he got there on the day, after he'd spent yeah. the money on it, but he can't. Yeah. Walk around with your glasses on your bureau, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what he should have done. You up taking a picture with your iPhone, is it? No. Oh. Really? I don't, I don't really see it. Right. We get a lot of photographers taking pictures uh, of the police mm. cars and things like yeah. that. Mm. There's a lot of interest. You've got blue, uh, blue light spotters as well. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. They yeah. post loads yeah. on YouTube. And Is that one in there, Vinnie Man? Or yeah, I've seen some of his stuff. It's quite easy, really, to be fair. It just gets an order of police use these pictures and don't ask him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was there for that. Mm. With the unmarked cars as well, he blanks out the veg plates. So you think, yeah. well, fair enough. Mm. That's, uh, no, I get that because some of them you, it could compromise your operation if. Well, yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, so. But then you don't. The trouble is, you don't know where where there's a camera. You could be going going past the speed. Somebody's got it. That's the point. You got to 
that's the thing these days, you've got to expect them to be cameras everywhere. You'll never, yeah. In terms of like undercover, you'll never know if it's a police car, not if we wouldn't, would we? No. No, sometimes you can see the sort of lights in the uh, in the grill there and everything. The but ones, you really see. <coughs> they're more your, your road yeah. policing. Yeah, they're more like our ones. Mm. You'd, a proper undercover one, you'd never, you'd never see it. Like National Crime Agency. I don't know about that, to be fair. But yeah, uh, but in terms of our kind of stuff, you'd, you'd never mm. see it. I don't I can't say I've ever seen National Crime Agency responding to anything or dealing with anything in uniform or that's all. Doing a good job then, aren't they? <laughs> I'm obviously doing it right. Yeah. Well, I don't know. They haven't kept their uh, covert bases very secret. <laughs> Managed to find them all on uh, the council's data. It is it? Yeah, just you look up National Crime Agency, there it is, address oh, and right. everything. Yeah, you think they do a better job at keeping that information secret, but... I think that's I think that's definitely a security risk. You know when you go on the um, you know when you go on what do they know where you've got the um, yeah. freedom of information requests. Yeah. So I've been on there and uh, you look up you look up where they've got their business rates information and they've got their their sites oh, listed right. on there. So <laughs> it's a bit of I think that's that's definitely a security risk. I think a little bit of investigation and you can find it. Yeah. No, it doesn't take much. These are those things. What's the recommendation for this vehicle? It's obviously a massively um, wide load. So we'll, yeah, it is. As long as his paperwork's in order, his load security looks pretty good. He's got the wheels chopped. He's got chains, albeit they're a bit small, but he's still got chains on his on his ramp. We'll do some checks with data tag to make sure it's not stolen, which it won't be. It's, it's a cap finning truck with a, a cap. So it's just not. It's just not quite wide enough to have to have an escort on the on the roads. No, no. So no some of them where they're carrying like parts for bridges and things that's like right. that. And they'll yeah, have, a, that's they'll have an escort do. vehicle. Yeah. So we do a lot so. of the, the much bigger stuff. We will do the police escorts for it. A lot of say HS2 stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen that on the move. Yeah. They had um, an old train that was going to scrap. I think it was the. Um, you got a lot of trains. It's one of the, the high-speed trains. Yeah. The old ones, the Intercity 125s, and they were transporting one of them on the M4, and there was a big South Wales police escort around that, it. Yeah. So that's that's what we do as well. Yeah. On our, on our team. Yeah. Well, the HS2's got. There's a lot of work going on with that around the Midlands at the minute. Yeah, you want to come into Birmingham? Uh, yeah. It's a shame, really. What's the one in the centre that's going on now? Because uh, Curzon Street, isn't it? Is it Curzon Street? That's still part of it, just too. Yeah. That's still part of it, yeah, yeah. I thought it was going on. Try not to go into the centre as well. Yeah. Tend to go in and never get out, especially on duty. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people are avoiding it with the clean air zone and everything now, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't affect me, I'm compliant, but <laughs> some people are. I did go in the other day and had to wait and get the wash car, swap <laughs> over. I was like, I'm not going in in the diesel. <laughs> no chance. Eight is that what it is, actually? I thought it was more than that. Yeah, Look, London's like 15. Every time you go in, it's like three. You got it? Before these guys move, they'll have to have a given notification mm. that comes to the police and it'll go to all the local authorities just to make sure the route that they've plotted they can actually get down or it's not too heavy for bridges and things like that. Right, so, so any load like this has got to, yeah, has so got to do that. Obviously, if, if it was bigger, to say, you, you couldn't go over certain bridges because of like, the infrastructure. Or well, the HS2 transport, oh, that, yeah, would, that, that would have to be yeah. so kept carefully that's, planned that's out. Let's look through the fine tooth going really. Uh, just when we're escorting it, sometimes we'll have to go the, the wrong side of the road in order to get it past, say, keep mm. left. Or, and they'll go through red lights with the police escort. Just well, so some of them will take up more than one lane on the motorway. Yeah, so exactly, yeah. So, some, so like we were doing one last night, and it was from uh, Corley Services to Solly Old Hospital. Because they're putting up a new uh, operating theatre on. It comes in blocks. Like Lego houses, and then um, they put the blocks together. It's obviously it's cheap. It's really impressive. I've seen those. I was wondering what it was. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, but obviously, when they're on the motorway, it's a danger for other road users as well, especially if they're only doing 21 hours on the motorway yeah. and the wind. So we'll block the motorway behind. But obviously, it's only us that have got the powers to do that, not the private escorts. So uh, that's tra where traffic officers could they could direct traffic and things on the motorway, can't they? Yeah. It's more of an advisory thing, yeah. So, mm. but obviously. 
it becomes like an offence if you fail to comply with a police officer giving a, a direction. I think DVSA got the similar powers, haven't yeah, they? I'm not too sure, but in terms of escorts, it's only the police that can do it. Right. When it gets to that level, that level of dimension, so the width, the height, the length. Alright, got you. Well, I'm sure. So they'll also check the height as well, just for any kind of bridges mm. that they go through. So obviously what you don't want is a bridge strike because the knock-on effect that can have with the economy, the infrastructure, trains, all that Massively, kind of stuff. Massively, yeah. Isn't it? And it's all the little things really where, you know, they could sometimes what happen, they'll measure the unit and then they won't take into account the bed that it's on. No, and that's not, where problems... Not enough to support really the weight. This really is more educational, mm. but to say... It, You've done this, this and this really good, but actually, if you've done this, this and this, it'd be based on, and just trying to kind of work with the industry to create best practice. Which you can, because heavy, pla heavy plant, there's be supposed on the weight on it, so. And if you're traveling with your family, go and pass that and come off, you're dead, aren't you? Mm. I'm guessing it's being transported to a construction site or something like that. Yeah, that needs, that needs updating, it's National Highway, isn't it? Half the uniforms and livery on the vehicles has not been, not been changed still. Got money, is it? Mm. And no one's got any? No. <laughs> no, the country's not doing so well with uh, financially at the minute. Sam, TGA, you can call me. You just saying how good, good it is? What's your name anyway? Mark. Mark, nice to meet you, Mark. I don't mind telling people my first name, obviously you could do with it anyway. So. <laughs> Most people you can just stick in Google and you find out the name, don't you? So. Yeah. Oh, some people got more. My name's too common, I think. Oh, Mark's a pretty common name as well. Exactly, yeah. yeah start putting in surnames and police, you'll start coming up with it. So. Yeah, exactly, yeah, not a good idea. It don't bother me. No? Well, I don't that's... think I'll ever get me to go undercover lot, you know. <laughs> I suppose there's a, lot of, uh, there's a lot of officers who are concerned about people targeting them and things like that. I've always had that, that said, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I guess. I don't know if that happens so much in your sort of role, does it? Uh, if we start getting involved in high-end kind of arrests in terms of gangs and things like that, I guess that's mm. where the, the risk would be a bit more yeah, because uh, they're with it, you know. And it depends, on, obviously, when this, the uh, security level changes and stuff like that, you have to be a bit more switched on. Uh, well, when, you know, there's been incidents, have there? people or groups threatening to kidnap and kill police officers and, and that makes you think I think I think more, a police officer more at risk from organized criminals than terrorists I don't I haven't really seen much of a especially in this especially in England and Wales never that's not so much of a risk from from terrorism well then you're going to go to London in your London Bridge mm, I suppose no, but they, the bobby that's outside yeah. not not so much of a specific target of uh, police stations or police no not police stations no. Northern Ireland though if you go back go back in a few years Always expect the unexpected though, isn't it? That's the thing. Mm. Get complacent with it, it happens. Because they used to... You can't to... think about it on a daily basis, so can you? Because otherwise you'd be just coming over to wreck. Mm. That's it. No, I've been I've been over to Belfast and I can, I can sort of see the concern over there because they've actually they, especially some of the older officers they've actually had to deal with things like that in the past. Yeah, last year, didn't they? Yeah, was that um, chief chief inspector on it? It's mm. terrible. Thirty-two. Not worth it for your job, is it? No. I think that was related to one of the paramilitary groups. So I think it definitely was. But yeah. More, more bobbies tend to die from criminals rather than terrorists. Mm. Mm. 
Do you know I'm on the other? We've, we've had, I've known police officers to be stabbed and run over and all sorts of scary world, isn't it? I think some, some of them are trying to evade arrest and things like that. They'll uh, pull out a weapon. They can't be more than 10 years old. And you're going to start looking at the degradation of the pop ties all the time. So if they overweigh them, they get, if you feel that now, it's still hot, you can suck them up. Things are safe at the moment, are we? Yeah. So we've released uh, one of the officers on our team who's worked with uh, other forces throughout like uh, an app. So in terms of uh, abnormal loads, estimated <laughs> geo moves, uh, when we stop and we fill this app in and then it's shared with all different police forces. So work, working more in unison, I guess, to kind of get a national standard, because what you don't want, and what we have got still to an extent is you can go to Gwent, be treated differently than if you come to the West Mids, mm. and then it's not fair really. So it's just getting it all levelled up. So things like today are really good, so we're all on the same page really. So you could have, we'll give you the same advice or the same uh, conditions to move mm. in Gwent as you would in the West Mids. So, so it makes it easier, fairer for well, all. Well, Wales, same law, but yeah, anyway, exactly. Yeah, so. but obviously, people's training is different. People's knowledge of the law is different isn't it Gwent as you said is significantly smaller than the West Mids so West Mids have got more scope to invest in it so I don't know you've got cover multiple cities Wolverhampton Carpentry Birmingham and that's so just, yeah, exactly yeah. exactly yeah so when we was on traffic you, you'd spend the morning in Wolverhampton and then in Coven you'd be in Coventry on the afternoon yeah, and they're completely yeah. different cities to police and so you're looking at, you're looking just between Birmingham and Wolverhampton it's about 35 minutes, half an hour. Well, if you're in Wolverhampton and you get a fatal collision in Coventry, it's a good blue light run to get there. It's about, about, it's about an hour or well, less? Well, uh, depends how busy the motorway yeah. is, mum lights and stuff like that. But yeah. M M6, especially with the congestion yeah, on there, that's going to take yeah, yeah. what? Especially where there's bits with no hard shoulder as well. Mm. It can be really tricky. That's, 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 that's my one that's my big criticism with um, smart motorways though, because you've got, you've, got uh, you've got the rest area, you've got the emergency yeah, right, refuge right. areas. But then you've got no hard shoulder for vehicles to pull over, so they'll have to stop in the, in the lane if they can't make it to a... Straight, I think if it happens here, as long as you get out of your car, get behind the barrier, as far away from it as possible. Mm. I wouldn't be sitting in it, no chance. Uh, it's not, why why was that idea ever conceived? Families though? and you just think, what are you doing? You're just gonna, if a heavy comes into the back of you, you're dead, aren't you? Get out of the car, keep some high visits in the boot, well, that's why I always keep this yeah, on me, really. I've got them for my kids and they've just yeah. all got one. Should it happen, leave the car. Uh, I, I don't think it was a well... Smart motorways weren't were really a well thought out idea, to be honest. I think it was a quick fix, wasn't it? Mm. I suppose it's useful, in some ways it's useful to control the speed and control yeah, the flow and of traffic. It is useful but... for us as well, in terms of what we do. Mm. to target criminals on the motorway. I won't go into any more, but in terms of controlling the situation. But the whole fact of no hard shoulder and... Yeah, not, no hard shoulder good. Not somewhere for vehicles to stop off is... It would be easier for any point on the motorway where a vehicle's likely to break down, likely to have a fault, then they, can, then they can stop as soon as possible.
Yeah. There's boiling a minute ago. Yeah, so it's on the way down. Blue sky, no. Oh, yeah, it's cold, isn't it? Midland's a bit hit and miss with weather, though. That's nice weather the last week, isn't it? Winter, it's usually snow or ice or. Funny enough, I was doing this. I was doing this in the Midlands in the snow. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's dedication, that is. Honestly, well, the road's terrible. <laughs> What's the base up by? Uh, is it Aston in Berlin? Oh, our, our base. Yeah, the uh, the large, the, yeah, the, the yeah, big yeah. big base up there. I'm not sure. What's, I'm not sure really what's in there. Too, is the I hear dogs barking in there, so I'm guessing dog section, yeah, there's but... There's, uh, yeah, there's all sorts of departments there, really. What's it, opera is it Operational yeah, Command Centre? Yeah, that's it. You ever get so there'll be all sorts in there. Yeah, filmed that in the snow, though. What's going on? Yeah, it's quite it's it's a lot of activity there. If you have a look on Google Maps on the old pictures, they completely changed, all for the Commonwealth, just for the Commonwealth Games. Yeah, well, I, I went up to Berlin for that, yeah. Lots of days off council for that. <laughs> yeah, I bet. All good, Jim? Yeah, all good. Absolutely, man. A couple of little toys. Nipped sorted them out, but that's the best I've seen in a very long while. Good if he's happy. Yeah, they're clearing it. He's clearing it to go. He's, he's the expert, is he? If he's pulling out. HMRCR, Daniel. What, what do they do anyway? On, so on they the... will check for road tax. Um, they'll check for red diesel in agricultural vehicles. Um, anything non-duty paid. So if there's like a, a transit van full of cigarettes, they'll make sure that it's all legally purchased through HMRC. So when you get lorries, when you get lorries coming in to check the back of it, make sure yeah. they haven't. Yeah. yeah, all that kind of stuff. I think generally with this, with, that, with this kind of thing, heavy haulage, they'll just dip the tanks. They'll put like a a plastic tube into the fuel tank, pull some out, make sure it's not red, and pump it back in. If it's red, it means it's non-duty paid, so they'll end up having to they work out how much fuel they've got in there, how many miles they've done, and then they hit them with a the tax for it. So they'll be, char they'll be charged for oh, it, yeah. they'll be fine. Yeah, and some, some of these on the spot, and we don't see it so much now, and certainly not in the Midlands, because red diesel's still used in agriculture, mm. so you might get a bit more of it down here, but not where we are. I know, um, I know when people are coming through, coming through airports and ports with, Things they haven't paid duties and tax yeah. on if they go over the limit. Oh, yeah. Then they'll they it's used, it's border force and HMRC they get, they tend yeah. to deal with that. They get hammered. So that I mean we had one chap um, who got red diesel and I think he had an on the spot fine of about 750 quid. Mm. Just there and then bang, there's your ticket. And, and then you'd have to pay the duties and tax yeah, on top of it as well, yeah. So that's that's the fine for having it. Um, and then they hit them with the back tax for everything else. I did I have seen a documentary about about customs that a lot of people coming yeah. in through Dover Port. Yeah. Um, People coming in through the airports as well, like yeah. Heathrow, Birmingham, and then they're coming in with like a massive amount of cigarettes, yeah. case full of cigarettes and things like that. And they probably pay duty on half of it. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I know some people where they just mate of mine got told uh, they, they border force just said, look, if we catch you again, yeah. then then you'll have to then oh, we'll right. find you, but we'll, this on this occasion we'll let you come yeah. through with it. <laughs> almost a case, almost a full-on suitcase of cigarettes, and be like, right, on this occasion. <laughs> I suppose they've got that much to deal with, mm -hmm. having the capacity to deal with everything, isn't it? It does surprise me, though, somebody with that many cigarettes being allowed to come into the country, with them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Especially if it's non-duty paid. 
Mm. And you've got to ask the question, is it fair for someone's been over and got a transit van full or you've got a suitcase full? You're either stopping it all or you're not. You can't pick and choose what you're I doing. I think ports yeah. where you've got people coming over from France and they've got a massive amount yeah. in a van or something or a lorry. It's like the old booze cruise, isn't it? People used to go with a transit van, stock up with wine from France, drive it back home. Apparently alcohol's gone up in France now anyway, so it's... That's why I do it. <laughs> Unless you're in France. Anyway. So I don't think people will be doing that anymore. Unless they go all the way down to Spain and then drive through France, but then they yeah. don't. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how that works with the EU with different charges and different taxes, because it's, no. it's just, it's all open. It's just open borders, isn't it? So if people are driving through, surely the police aren't going to, from the different country, aren't going to stop yeah. that person travelling through. Yeah. If they, someone say someone driving into France to get a Spanish registration, oh, yeah. are they going to stop? Are they going to stop a van or a lorry? That's because yeah. they got a different tax for, for the different country. Possibly. Yeah. Well, it's like here when we get your Polish vehicles, Eastern European vehicles, Romanian, they come in. Um, you need to sort of determine how that tax has been paid and when it's coming to the country, and that's all through HMRC. Mm. How come both of us seem to have some of the same duties then when they're at ports and airports? I think because they've got similar powers to us. Mm. So we, we use devolved powers from HMRC and UKBA, the same as they do. So they've got like they've got powers of arrest, powers of detention, powers of they can interview people. Because they have they all have like handcuffs, they all have yeah, radios, yeah. body cameras, yeah. things like yeah. that. So at yeah. least when they're at least when they're in the airports and everything, anyway. Yeah. They do outside as well. I, I used to do a job in licensing and we had UKBA come out with us and they were wearing pretty much the same kit, body armour, cuffs. Yeah, like Kevlar vest, that's yeah, all, yeah. yeah. They've got similar powers of arrest and detention. I thought it was only in specific circumstances they could arrest them. I don't, I don't think they've got, I don't think they've got the same powers. Not, certainly not generic powers of arrest like we've got. They've got like the any person powers, so like you can make a citizen's arrest, but it's only if you see a crime being committed. Whereas I can make an arrest if I suspect a crime has been committed. That's what I thought. You have to yeah, literally catch someone in the act yeah, for citizen's it. arrest. You know, if, you, if you catch someone, you know, mugging someone in the street and you pin them down to the police get there, you, that's citizen's arrest because you found someone committing an offence. But if you see someone, oh, I'm sure I saw him last week doing this. You, you it's know. only indictable offences uh, section that's 24A right. can be used yeah. on, yeah. So it's, if you if you say it's summary, a summary offence, you can't do it. No. So then I, I could get in trouble if I was to use citizen's yeah. arrest if I caught someone. Absolutely. So you need a summary of those. What a lovely day. We, what a lovely day. We're all just about to have lunch. Ah. Excellent. So yeah. Does it make sense what we're doing? Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, so it's quite interesting to be fair. That that lorry is absolutely spot on. Really? We don't see many of it. So we've done we've had probably over four, in our area in the West Midlands, we've stopped about four hundred of that type of lorry and that load um, and we've had four that have been robbed. He oh. was absolutely bummer. And then the industry's learning now what they've got to do to get it right and be lawful down the road. It's really good. Well, it's, uh, you should be very proud busy of area. You're, yeah. Your, yeah, your yeah, force area is very busy. We're smack in the middle of the country, aren't we? Some yeah. of the busiest roads in Europe. It's always congested as well. Yeah. M M42, yeah. M6. It doesn't matter what time of day you go mm. on it. Yeah. What doesn't help is a lot of the local community use it as almost a wrap on the motorways, mm. whereas down here it's a transient community going back and forth. Well, you still get a lot of people passing through here. Yeah. So. It's, it's just people hop on for one or two junctions, like um, Junction 9 by the RAC building. Yeah, I know, by, by uh, Almas, that is Almas, literally people yeah. will go on at Junction 1 of the M5, off yeah. at Junction 9 or Junction yeah. 10, and it's always busy there. Yeah, Bristol tends to get quite busy. Yeah, oh, is it close? Oh, let's go. Seven minutes. That's the keys. I'm going to go, I'll go and tell the site manager that we're leaving. Okay. You're right to uh, jump off, Max. We're going to go and get lunch. Yeah, no problem. Right, nice nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Good to meet you, mate. Take it easy. Good luck. <laughs> Just watch yourself over there, mate, because there's some big ones. Yeah, no worries. Enjoy Bye your too. subway anyway. <laughs> Cheers. Right, back off the property now. See what else is coming out. I think they might be releasing some of the other lorries. This one's coming out. You'll we'll see this, this one coming out. They've had HMRC, HM Revenue and Customs coming through as well. Check in, so they check for like red diesel, or which they need to pay duty and tax on. 
largely. So we'll check the fuel. I'll check tax as well. Obviously the HM revenue and customs is part of their duties. Yeah, they're checking a lot of these sort of vehicles coming through. I think uh, I think HMRC are over there, aren't they? Pretty sure they had like a police hat on. Not sure. I'll, I'll come around this side, see if I can see the get lady from HMRC, because she was wearing like a police cap, so I wasn't sure. I'm not sure where she is now. So there's the command unit over that side. Didn't quite get to... There's Welsh Government. Welsh Government. Pretty sure Welsh Government. Where the HMRC lady is there. Uh, she's uh, gone somewhere else now. Oh no, there she is. Not sure. No police. So yeah, it's just it's unusual to see HMRC in uniform. Around, to be fair. So the traffic lot are going now as well. Everyone seems to be moving on, at least for their lunch now. Just got to keep an eye around me just to make sure nothing's coming. So yeah, they're off now, traffic Wales. Welsh Government. It's got highways, national highways. I keep saying Highways England because half of the uniforms and everything still say Highways England on them. Just trying to look out for the lady from HMRC. I never see them in uniform. And then there obviously is DVSA over there. HM Revenue and Customs, yeah. Just gonna get a couple of pictures and things like that with the DSLR. Enjoy yourself. Very welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have to get up here. <laughs> All the best, mate. Yeah, take it easy. Well, and I appreciate it. Have you seen the Ray Ban ones? Have they got Ray Ban oh, spy glasses? Right, really I, good. I didn't know about that. Anyway, but I appreciate, appreciate you letting me come in for a look. Hmm. I'll have a chat with HMRC if they'll, if they'll allow. Yeah, zoom lens out, I'm just gonna stand out of the way. Oh. Where HMRC Park then? Where are they even parked? Oh, West Midlands even parked, I haven't even seen their vehicle. So I wander around. I haven't even gone far today. Oh, they're in the uh, South Wales vehicle. I'm not sure I haven't seen anything for HMRC. I don't even know what the vehicles really look like, to be honest. But, yeah, a lot of them are just parked up in a car park here. I'm going to come back around. I'm going to get some, a uh, couple of two DSLR shots, move along, I think. It's a nice day. I, I thought I, I'm not going to waste it. And West, West Midlands police have been very accommodating today. I have to say, big respect to West Midlands Police. And uh, I am really spoke to HMRC. I um, had a couple officers say hello from West Mercia Police as well. Brent Police have barely said a word today. But they've been busy with their work, so I'm not going to judge them on that. Ooh. Yeah, good. Brilliant bunch of officers, that's how police should be. Um, thought, thought I'd show you a, a good side of policing like this. And it's not every day you see a joint policing operation between a, bunch, a few different police forces. Gwent, South Wales, uh, David Powers. And the lens cap's on, of course it is. Uh, 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 uh. I 
the lady from HMRC over there, I believe. And there's the police command unit. I wonder if HMRC are going to come out for their lunch now as well. Uh, I'm just going to stand up the road because you don't know what's coming there. They're nice units, the new Volvos and everything. The Gwent police. Let's change that back to manual. Warm now, it's gone really cold again. Still recording 51 minutes out. Just don't know where HMRC had gotten to. Yeah, there they are. There they are. That's DVSA. Did I put a timer on that? Let's be speed continues. High, can we put high speed continuous? So, vehicle coming out. Let's have a look this side. I don't know where HMRC had gotten to. Never seen him in uniform before, that's why. HMRC, I think she's still checking. Should have got this out in the first place when I was in there. <laughs> South Wales and Gwent. I can't see the lady from HMRC there. 
Mars. Oh, here it comes. They move now, let's see what's up there. Ah. More police are leaving now. Rest the area for the police. Yeah. HMRC are up there as well. Yeah, all good, thanks. Some decent photos. I have, yeah. I was quite surprised to see uh, HMRC up here on uni yeah, uniform, to be we, honest. Yeah, we do quite a lot of joint operations with them and um, Bowser and DBLE. Mm. And West Midlands Police, West yeah. Mercia. Everyone's come for a bit. Which force are you from? You're Gwent or? Gwent, yeah. Gwent. yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah I, can, I can tell now. I want, I want to show because there's a South Wales vehicle park. The South Wales vehicle parked up there and David Powis as well, so. There's quite a few from, there's quite a few Welsh forces as well, I've noticed. Hopefully you get some good snaps. Yeah. What do you take for yes. that? Police cars? Yeah, police cars, police operations, anything like that, so. Good stuff. Happy days. Yeah. Happy days. Well, it's a nice day for it, isn't it? It is, yeah, that's why I come out today, to be fair. I thought, the sun's out, I'm not wasting today. And extra safe with your high-vis on as well. With exactly, yeah, with vehicles coming back and lorries and things coming back and out, back and slow out of here, so. Have a good day, Good, yeah. yeah. Cheers, Andrew. Thank you. Bye-bye. Seems everyone's nipping off for their food now. Seems, Seems everyone's nipping off for their lunch now, anyway. Oh, there's a couple still in. There's a few, few, few in there. Oh, it's not 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 stopping yet. Then. No, no, no. There's a few in there. Loads of behind the lorry. Uh, is that a command unit? What is it? Is it just a brake? Is it just that van back there? Is that just for for brakes? Is it? Oh, the truck. The, the truck, truck at the back. Is, I think it's just like a welfare truck. Is it yeah, just yeah, welfare yeah. truck? Nothing exciting. I want sure. Nothing <laughs> I thought it might have been like some sort of mobile command unit or something like that. No, you got computers just, and things into it. It's about 20 years old, I think. <laughs> yeah, it looks... taking pictures of cars and stuff. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think so. There we are. Sorted. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah, take it easy. Yeah, South Wales Police, definitely. HMRC are gone. Police truck up there. Go we'll get McDonald's, please. <laughs> it's a bit clearer now where some of them vehicles are gone. Yeah, fine, thanks. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Good. Taking some photos, the That's all it is, yeah. Of the tracks or, or just everything? Everything that's going on, yeah. Yeah, oh, nice. It's a warm one today, now, isn't it? It is, that's why I came out today, yeah, that's it. Do you live local, do you? Yeah, not far. Yeah. You from the police? Yes, yeah, I'm a police officer, yeah. I thought so. We're having a lunch break now, though. 
Oh, fair enough. Well, well you enjoyed it anyway. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Good. Yeah, right. Nice mm. mercy, I believe. Uh, they're all coming back out now. There we go. There we go. They're all coming back. Okay. Thank you really for watching. If you did enjoy this video, everybody, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit that bell button to stay notified. And we'll see you all in the next one. TGA out.